Okay, so today we're talking about powers of 10 and exponents. Our learning goal is to be able to use your understanding of the place value system to explain patterns in the number of zeros of the product when multiplying a number by a power of 10. First, we have to focus on some very important vocabulary. The base is the number that is used as the repeated factor. The exponent tells how many times the base is repeated. So if you look at this number down here, the base is the 10 here. The exponent is the little three up in the top right hand corner. Take a moment to pause the video and write these two important vocabulary words and their definitions into your notes. Let's look at an example of multiplying a whole number by a power of 10. Hummingbirds beat their wings very fast. The smaller the hummingbird is, the faster its wings beat. The average hummingbird beats its wings about 3 times 10 to the third power times a minute. How many times a minute is that written as a whole number? Well, we can look at the powers of 10 and look at a pattern. 3 times 10 to the 0 power is just like 3 times 1. The value would be 3. 3 times 10 to the first power is like 3 times 10. The value is 30. 3 times 10 to the second power is like 3 times 10 times 10. I like to think of that as 3 times 100, so the value would be 300. And finally, 3 times 10 to the third power is like 3 times 10 times 10, or 3 times 1,000. The value would be 3,000. So the average hummingbird beats its wings about 3,000 times a minute. I like to think about it with a little trick. When you're multiplying by a power of 10, like here, I would do 3 times 1. That's 3. My exponent here is 0, so I have 0 zeros in my product. Here I would do 3 times 1 is 3. My exponent here is 1, so I would have 1 0 in my product. Here it is. 3 times 1 is 3, my exponent's 2, so I have two zeros in my product. And 3 times 1 is 3, the exponent's 3, so I have three zeros in my product. Time to put on those thinking caps. Look at the expression, 16 times 10 to the third power. You could also say 16 times 10 cubed. How many zeros would be in that product? Well, if you think about the pattern I told you just a second ago, that would be like doing 16 times 1, that's 16, and because my exponent's 3, I'm going to have 1, 2, 3 zeros in my product. 16,000 would be the value. Is this starting to make sense? All right, let's look at writing an exponent and word form. First, we have 10 times 10 times 10, and we need to write it in exponent form. Remember at the beginning, I told you the base is the number that is used as the repeated factor. Well, the factor that's being repeated is 10, so that's my base. And I told you the exponent is the number that tells how many times the base is used as a factor. Well, one, two, three. It's used three times, so my exponent is going to be a three. In word form, this is showing the third power of 10. You could also say 10 to the third power. This next one looks really long, but it's the same concept. The number being repeated is 10. That's going to be my base. I'll know my exponent by how many times it's repeated. 1, 
two, three, four, five, six. So my exponent here is six. In word form, this is the sixth power of ten. Or you could write ten to the sixth power. Since you see a pencil on this page, it's time to pause the video and write these examples in your notes. Make sure to include every part of the example so you can see both the exponent form and word form if you need to look back at them. All right, let's look at some problem solving. Lake Huron has a surface area that covers about 23,000 square miles. How could we, oops, typo there, show, How could we show the surface area as a whole number multiplied by a power of 10? Going back to those patterns I was talking about earlier. If we have 23,000 and we want to show that as being number um, whole number multiplied by a power of 10, our whole number is 23. We know we're multiplying by a power of 10, so 10 is our base, and we have 1, 2, three zeros, so it would be 23 times 10 to the third power. Or you could say 23 times the third power of 10. Time to summarize with our LOL. Go ahead and make that line under your notes for today. And answer, how can you use an exponent to show powers of 10? Write your answer in your math journal. Be sure to use math vocabulary and complete sentences in your response.